technology that allow us road warriors to be just as effective on the road as in the field. Bunting's window. Hi, Mark Bunting here. Welcome to another edition of Bunting's window to the world of computers. We'll sit back and relax because over the course of the next half hour, we're going to be taking a look at some of the most exciting new computer technology available today. We've got some new hardware from IBM, a hot new notebook computer called the Butterfly, software from Microsoft. We're even going to take a trip on the World Wide Web, courtesy of Wired Magazine and the folks at Silicon Graphics. So sit back and relax for this edition of Bunting's Window to the World of Computers. You know, a few months ago, we had a chance to go up to Silicon Graphics to check out their hot new web servers. Well, we recently had a chance to go back to Silicon Graphics to visit with John McRae to learn what's hot with the World Wide Web. The number of businesses getting on the web is doubling every two months. Five million people around the planet now have access to the World Wide Web. And that number is growing at 150,000 a month. We've created a complete solution for companies that want to do business on the web. It's called WebForce, and it's a line of high-performance web servers, and professional web authoring systems. Hotwired is an online space that takes place on the World Wide Web. It's, it's not Wired Magazine Online, it's a new space. We create new content every day for Hotwired, especially. The World Wide Web gives us immediacy, it gives us interactivity, and it gives us the ability to use multimedia content like we can't do in, in magazines or in any other media. The most important consideration when doing business on the web is making sure your server is powerful enough to handle the visitors you attract. Because if it's not, when hundreds of people try to get to your site at the same time, they'll all have to wait and wait, which means a lot of them are going to go to someone else's site. That's why so many companies are choosing the unrivaled throughput and scalability of WebForce servers. In fact, most of the highest traffic sites on the web are powered by Silicon Graphics. What we liked the most about Silicon Graphics was first and foremost is they did the job right. They, they were servers that could handle the loads that we were getting, which are four to 600,000 hits a day. These days, businesses want to take full advantage of the web to market products and services, to conduct commerce, and to enhance their relationship with their customer. That involves building a valuable database of who's visiting and what they're doing while they're there. And it means automatically generating customized web pages targeted to each individual. WebForce systems are designed to integrate with your existing corporate databases, like those based on Informix, Oracle, and Sybase. We have a custom profile built for each subscriber. When they come in and say, what's new, we're actually doing a database lookup on our Sybase Silicon Graphics database to, to figure out exactly what they have not seen. So when we tell them what's new, it's what's new for them as opposed to what's new for everybody. But no matter how you plan to use the web, if you want to attract and retain a crowd, your site has to stand out. And that means great content with images, audio, and video. And now, with WebForce 2.0, it also means interactive 3D graphics. WebForce systems from Silicon Graphics give your creative team all the tools they'll need to set up the most engaging site on the web. Now, if you're thinking about getting your storefront up on the World Wide Web, check out WebForce. It's from Silicon Graphics. Now, many of you know that later this month, Microsoft is going to be launching Windows 95, the much-anticipated launch. What you may not know is that to coincide with this launch, Microsoft Office for Windows 95 is also going to be released. Now, what they've done here is really great. They have made it easier to use than ever before. They've combined those five award-winning products, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Schedule Plus, and Access, that made it better than ever before. We're going to go up to Microsoft to visit with Dennis Tevlin to get the lowdown on Office for Windows 1995. Office for Windows 95 is all about breaking down the barriers between the user and their software. I mean, let's face it, the Office Suite as a productivity application is kind of like the universal tool set for the information age. So these tools have to be extremely e easy to use for everyone. So they have to be flexible. I mean, flexible in terms of the type of, of uses that they're applied to, flexible and adaptable to the types of people that use them. So we really focus on making Office super, super easy. Now, one of our first goals with Office for Windows 95 was to take full advantage of Windows 95. We really think about Windows 95 as the first true operating system for an integrated Office suite. So what does that mean? 
Well, you get things like multitasking. Now it's really easy to switch between all the applications. In fact, if you think about an integrated office suite and the way it was designed to be used, you've got full featured applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Schedule Plus. Now these are applications that are designed to be used together. Windows 95 really facilitates that interoperability between the applications. IntelliSense technology in Office for Windows 95 can be seen throughout all the different applications within Office. A great example is AutoCorrect. Just imagine you're typing along in your word processor Microsoft Word and all of your misspellings, your typos are instantly corrected. Well that functionality of AutoCorrect can now be seen throughout all of the applications. You have AutoCorrect in Excel, in Access, in PowerPoint. So you we're beginning to see all the cool features that are in one application transfer across all of the different applications. There are so many cool features in Office Windows 95 that it's really hard to just mention one, but my favorite is the answer wizard. You now simply go to your help menu and you ask the answer wizard how to do things using your own words. You can say to things like, how do I make this look nice? and you will get things like setting page orientation or formatting uh, fonts and all kinds of things about making the document look nice. I mean that's what you're really trying to accomplish. One of the key benefits of an integrated office suite is integration. So what does integration mean? It means that all the different applications work together consistently so they have the same visual interface. The benefit to you is if you learn Word for example you now know how to use Excel or Access or PowerPoint or Schedule Plus. So you can leverage that learning you do in one application across all the applications. It looks like Microsoft's put together the best office yet. Now again, at the end of this month, go by your local software retailer and check out both Windows 95 and Microsoft Office for Windows 95. Now, all of this stuff, Brad, is all infrared technology, correct? Correct. Everything from the PC card with the infrared port, I guess, here built into the base, to, uh, to regular cards, even externals. Tell me a little bit about the world of IR or infrared because now you're seeing it on everybody's notebook computers it seems like and now it's even grown into more traditional office products, things like laser printers on a network and other things. IR has really taken off. Uh, Puma's uh, been in business for about two years and we began uh, designing our software two years ago in anticipation of the uh, infrared standard being finalized and we did a lot of work with major um, notebook and desktop manufacturers and some of the printer manufacturers as well and the transit software uh, has been designed for easy interchange of data the ability to do wireless printing uh, the new Hewlett Packard 5P laser printer is an example of that we support that printer you're going to see more printers coming out in, in the coming months and years and um, what we tried to do was try to come out with a product that initially was based on standard Windows conventions that you or I or any Windows user are familiar with and make it easy for people to interchange and exchange files to do data synchronization between their own notebook and desktop computer and of course to do wireless printing the way we've accomplished that is that you use many of the same conventions that, that you've uh, been using for years to do those, these new things over, uh, over wireless. Somebody gave me the example the other day of, of two people being on an airplane and flying to a meeting and they're giving a sales presentation and one person has got an updated version of that presentation and the other one's got the old version and they can actually transfer the files back and forth again without any cables sitting on an airplane. I mean that's really hot stuff. That's correct and in fact those two users can even clip and cut and paste um, elements out of the document such as a graphic or a paragraph and send it from one system to the other without necessarily overwriting the file. Well now the IR standard may be universal but what if I'm using a ThinkPad? with OS2 and I want to transfer files to someone who's using Windows 311. It's a big part of Puma's strategy is that we believe that infrared needs to work across a variety of different hardware platforms and also operating systems. With Transit we've designed the application to be able to interchange data between OS2, Windows 3.1, Windows 95 and even Mac OS. Now what if I have a notebook computer that doesn't have IR built in? Can I upgrade with like PC card technology? In addition to the software we offer, we offer a host of upgrade products for desktops, notebooks, and printers so that you can have IR capability. Right. Well, I see you bundle on a lot of different systems, and really you're sort of the technology inside the genuine GM parts. Uh, so if I'm looking for a notebook, I'm looking for a printer, and I'm considering IR, and certainly I should be, I really want to look for that Puma brand. Correct. Great. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it.
You know, the old adage, don't judge a book by its cover, has never had more application than with the new IBM ThinkPad 701C. There is a new technology under the hood of this new ThinkPad that's going to absolutely blow you away. It's the most exciting new technology that I've seen in a notebook computer in a long time. Now, before I show it to you, quick question. What's the number one complaint, or maybe concern is a better word, for people who are moving from a desktop computer to a notebook computer, or even buying their first notebook computer? It has to do with the compressed keyboard. Now, you get used to working on a smaller keyboard after a while, but wouldn't it be nice to have the portability of a small notebook computer, but to have a full-size keyboard? Believe it or not, take a look. This is going to blow you away. Now, watch the edge of the notebook itself as I lift the lid. Voila. Watch it again. Folks, believe it or not, the incredible expanding keyboard. It's called TrackWrite, and it's an exciting new technology from IBM that gives you a keyboard that extends a full inch on either side of the base of the notebook computer itself. Now, if you're used to working on a compressed keyboard, you know what a tremendous benefit having this extended or full-size keyboard on a notebook computer is going to make. Now, this red dot here in the middle of the keyboard is called the Track Point 3, and it's IBM's version of a mouse. Now, the great thing about this is as you're typing, your fingers don't have to leave the keyboard when you want to make a mouse movement. Now, IBM is famous for this. I'm just amazed that they were able to engineer the track point in this expandable keyboard. How in the world they managed to make it so that it can remain between the G and the H key where the sliding keyboard is beyond me, but trust me, it's here. Now, it's not just the size of the keyboard that's impressive, but also the size of the display or the screen. Now, this screen is a full 10.4 inch diagonal display. It comes in dual scan color and active matrix TFT color. So you've got the highest possible quality output on your screen. But again, it's not just size. You've got a big screen, it's beautiful. You've got a big keyboard, but it's also the power and the performance underneath the hood. The 701C comes with a DX4 50 megahertz or 75 megahertz Intel-based 486 processor. It also comes with four megabytes or eight megabytes of onboard RAM, depending on your configuration. It's got PCMCIA technology. Now, in addition to that, it's even got all the multimedia tools you need. You've got an audio output so that you can listen to music or sounds off of one of your, your favorite video games through a set of headphones or through speakers. You can even hook up a microphone and do voice annotations, etc. In addition to that, it's got up to seven hours of battery life, and you can even get a removable hard drive up to 720 megs. Now, for those of you who have to have the latest gizmos, this is an infrared receiver, which means infrared, just like the remote control on your television set, if you're on an infrared or a wireless local area network in your office, you can use this bad boy without hooking up any cables, any wires. Great new stuff. Now, in addition to that, there's a ton of software that comes pre-installed with the ThinkPad, and the 701C is no exception. So if you're looking for a notebook computer that brings all these features together, there's only one place. I have never seen this keyboard before, and I can't overemphasize enough to those of you who have not tried it, how impressed you're going to be when you get your fingers on the key. So be sure if you're looking for a notebook computer and you don't like working on those compressed, crunched keyboards, check out the IBM 701C. Now I've got a great new CD that I'm really jazzed about that is a wonderful tool whether you work in a traditional office or a home-based business. In fact, it's a great tool to take with you on the road as well. It's from Corel, and it's called the CD Office Companion. And there's 650 megabytes worth of information on this one CD-ROM that's designed to assist any of you business professionals who have the need to fill in all those holes that your traditional office suite or works package doesn't cover for you. For example, you've got things like business graphics, an internet web browser, you've got fax capabilities, even a comprehensive business reference library. There's over 15,000 different graphic images to enhance your business presentations, 500 fonts, 200 different photos, and over 75 different audio clips, again, to really jazz your business presentations. Now, in addition to that, you've got a host of other multimedia utilities. Corel CD Office Companion is the best CD, and the most affordable, I might add, to really complete your office suite selection. Now, whether you're using Microsoft Office, uh, Lotus Smart Suite, or even Novell's Perfect Office, you're going to find this is a wonderful complement to those programs. Again, giving you all those tools you don't get with your Office Suite. For example, business graphics with Corel Flow 2. You know, business runs on information, and the way to stay ahead is to have the latest up-to-date information. That's why you need Corel Flow. It's an effective way to organize and communicate your ideas. Now, what about surfing the net? You know, everybody's up on the World Wide Web. Corel takes care of you here as well. Corel Web Mosaic is a nice, high-end, sophisticated product that will enable you to access a wealth of information on the Internet's World Wide Web. 
Now, most suites don't have a personal information manager, and here again, Corel has filled in the gaps with a PIM. Corel Planner is a personal information manager in an easy-to-use book format, which makes tracking contacts, to-dos, activities, appointments, etc., very, very easy. It's just like using a day timer. Now, you know Corel's legacy when it comes to clip art and photos, and they haven't left you hanging here. 15,000 different clip art images in Corel Gallery 2. There's also 200 photos, 75 sound clips, and a full color reference guide that actually gives you a thumbnail look at each and every clip art item. Fonts, again, 500 true type fonts. But maybe my favorite section is Corel Bookcase. Now, Corel Bookcase is an authoritative source for reference information, and it all comes on the same CD ROM. You're not going to believe this. You've got an encyclopedia, a dictionary, a book of quotations, even a business almanac that's got over 500 sources for things like addresses and phone numbers, all types of business info. But you can also find some great conversation topics in the sports almanac that's got information on 125 years worth of sports trivia. So if you're looking for a convenient way to fill in all those holes left in your existing office suite or works package, check it out. It's from Corel. It's called the CD Office Companion. Oh, and did I mention affordable? Try all of these products for a street price around $100. Really? Check it out. You know, if you have kids that do a lot of research for things like homework or term papers, or if you do research yourself, you're going to love my next product. It's from Infonautics, and it's called Homework Helper and it's the first ever family reference library available online. That's right, no more quick trips down to the library, it's all available online. Now kids can research a wide range of topics from their home computer by simply asking questions in plain English. There are millions of pages of material, newspapers, magazines, maps, photo libraries, textbooks, everything you need, and it's updated daily. So the range of information available is constantly growing in size and in depth. It's also very easy to use, which encourages the user to be curious, and better yet, enables them to. And again, because Homework Helper is online, it means spending less time doing the research and more time using the information. So if you need a family reference library, check out the only one that's available online. Again, it's from Infonautics, and it's called the Homework Helper. What do IBM, the Olympics, and PC MCIA technology have in common? We'll take a look. Hi, I'm Mary Lou Retton, and no, I'm not training for the 96 Olympics. But believe it or not, now that I've retired from competitive gymnastics, I'm busier than ever. My schedule of broadcasting and public speaking really keeps me on the go. And like many of you, I use a laptop computer to help keep my busy life organized. But thanks to the new IBM Home and Away credit card adapter, I can also use my notebook to keep in touch with family, friends, and business associates. It's a fax modem and ethernet adapter combined. All I have to do is plug in this slick little adapter. It comes complete with easy to use software, which allows my laptop to send and receive faxes anywhere in the world. In addition, with the IBM Home and Away credit card adapter, I can send email or data files just as easily. Now, whether I'm home or away, if there's a telephone line, I can communicate with the world. In fact, with the optional cellular upgrade kit, I can stay connected anywhere I can use my cellular phone, even here at the gym. And at the office, the IBM Home and Away credit card adapter lets you connect to an Ethernet local area network, and you can keep using the fax modem function at the same time. You know, being a mobile professional in the 90s requires you to stay in touch with people all over the globe, 24 hours a day, no matter where you are. You may need to access the internet or other online information services for the latest news and information. But with the laptop and IBM's home and away credit card adapter, it's all at your fingertips. A data fax modem and ethernet adapter all in one PC card. It's from IBM and it's called the home and away card. Check it out. Talk about problems. Have you ever tried to erase or uninstall software programs from within Microsoft Windows? We well, you know what a headache this can be, and if you don't do it just right, clean up all those loose files, you can cause yourself some big problems. Well, finally, there's an easier way. It's called 
appropriately, the Uninstaller, and it's from MicroHelp Software. Now this is a wonderful application to easily, effectively, and efficiently remove all of your software programs that you want to erase or delete. And it's also got some other cool features, like moving software products. You can actually relocate your applications to new directories and drives. You know, put things where you really want them. You can archive. Save applications on a disk by compressing and storing them to your hard drive or your floppy disk. Even transport, which replicates the applications you need to bring home to your PC. Now this is a great new product and it's got a great new feature called Windows Cleanup which roots out hundreds of those unused files to give you back additional performance and hard drive space. Make it easy. It's called the Uninstaller and it's from MicroHelp. You know, gone are the days when you could show up to a business presentation and simply hand out black and white copies. Color has become the default standard, and no one serves those needs better than Xerox. They've got a new line of color laser printers called the X-Print 4920 and the 4925 that takes Xerox's heritage for document duplication to new levels with a line of great color laser printers. But it doesn't stop there. You know, we also need a workhorse of a black and white laser printer to work within our office. Well, they've combined into an all-in-one unit that produces very high quality output color and black and white prints at a very affordable two and a half cents a page. Now again, if you need a workhorse of a black and white laser printer, but also have the needs for color, and today who doesn't, go to the folks who have the experience. This is a great line of new printers. It's called the X-Print 4920 and the 4925 from Xerox. Well, unfortunately, we are at that time again where I'm out of time. But you know, as always, if you want to get information, more information on any of the products or technologies that I cover on the show today, Look in the Hemispheres magazine. Right there in the seat pocket in front of you, you'll find a full supplement on Bunting's window that has product information. In addition, there's a 1-800 number, a bingo card, and a coupon where you can write to me to get free product literature, courtesy of the fine folks at United Airlines and Bunting's window. Well, until next time, this is Mark Bunting, your host. I'll see you. on the road as in the field. Bunting's Window. Hi, Mark Bunting here. Welcome to another edition of Bunting's Window to the world of computers. Well, we got some great stuff in store for you folks. In fact, the next half hour is action-packed with all the latest from the world of computer technology. We've got new hardware, new software, peripherals and the like, all on this edition of Bunting's Window to the world of computers. What exactly is the Netra? The Netra is a internet server and web server that allows everyone connected to your LAN environment to access the internet and publish information on the internet. Literally anyone in the organization can jump on the network and now zip through the Netra right. and wind up on the internet. That's right. You see, I think that's such a powerful tool because what an incredible business resource to have access for every level individual in your organization right. to tap into the power of that knowledge. Um, I guess my next question though is, is it easy? Yeah, the internet used to be limited to the technical gurus, the scientists, the engineers, the educational environments that had the expertise to really figure out how to get on the internet. We wanted to make it easy for, especially for people that didn't have the technical guru on their staff. So all of the hardware, all of the software, all of the, the networking software you need is pre-configured and pre-packaged for you. So all you need to do is plug it in and it installs in less than 30 minutes. Great. So now anybody in my company is gonna be able to hop on the network and through this Netra, jump on the internet. Right, and you don't need to hire the technical guru to do the administration because we've hidden the complexities of the underlying environment. There's a nice graphical tool to do the day-to-day -day administration. Okay, so overused term, but it's user-friendly. Right. What about other software applications? Can I run other internet applications on the Netra as well? All of the exciting applications that are being developed on Sun are available for Sun. So things like Netscape, all of their software, 
Uh, the Waze software, the Gopher, the Archie, all of these ways of accessing the internet are, are available on the Sun platform. What about security, though? If all of these people in my organization can dial out to the internet, is that opening up doors for people to get back into my system, to get to my precious asset, my information? Security is probably the most important business issue people, a, a internet server needs to address. And so we offer three levels of security depending on your business needs. So we can prevent unauthorized access to your server, to your network, and we can also allow you to do secure business transactions over the internet. So you can send things like credit card information and there won't be someone there that can grab that information and decode it. Right. Well, we all know that the next big boom in the internet is transactions and developing right. commerce and with your expertise in networking and the fact that two out of the three servers on the internet today are Sun Systems anyway, it seems to me to be a, a natural extension of your expertise and packaging it all together in an out-of-the-box solution I think is real smart. Yeah, no one else offers the completeness of the solution, the ease of use of the administration, day-to-day -day maintenance of the system, and the security products that businesses really require. If you love games, and I do, you're going to love this new online service from the folks at AT&T. It's called the Imagination Network, and it's a great place to do just that. Imagine. Now imagine playing games online, real time, with a group of people or an individual, and being able to chat with that person in real time as well. Talk to them while you're playing the game. I mean, this is great stuff. Now, the Imagination Network is a virtual community of friends, acquaintances, people talking to each other through their computer modems. Now, this is a great service. You can even assign a cartoon character representation of your own face so that people have something to look at when they're chatting with you. Now, another great benefit for me as a business traveler is the ability to stay in touch with my kids using the Imagination Network. Imagine going on at the end of the day when you check into your hotel room and chatting back and forth with these cartoon characters with your kids, or even playing games real time so you have some interaction. Again, it's from AT&T. It's called the Imagination Network. It's PC Windows compatible. All you need is a modem and a little imagination. Check it out. You know, if you've seen any of my shows days past, you know what a big fan I am of the NEC Versa line of notebook computers. Well, NEC has raised the bar again with their brand new line of Versa 2000s. This is a hot new series from NEC, and you're going to really like these. Now, this is a line of value systems, but unlike other notebook manufacturers' value systems, which are usually stripped down versions of their high performance models, NEC has designed this line from the ground up to be a value system. It is truly the perfect combination of high performance, state-of-the-art ergonomics, and keen attention to detail when it comes to value. Speaking of ergonomics, right off the bat you notice the sleek new state-of-the-art design incorporated in the Versa 2000. Now some of my favorite features include screen controls, easy to adjust the contrast and brightness. How about these rounded corners and this nice fat wrist rest? This is very comfortable to position your wrist here and use the nice expanded keyboard. You're not in a crunch for space. But my favorite, my very favorite is the Versa Glide. Now you notice this little square down here in the middle of the wrist rest. You simply glide your finger across this and you notice this acts as my mouse or pointing device. It's a substitute for a mouse, but much easier to use than anything I've ever tried before. Now if you're impressed with the outside of the Versa 2000, wait till you see what's under the hood. Try a 486 DX4 75 megahertz processor. Comes in a four megabyte and an eight megabyte RAM standard configuration, expandable all the way up to 40. And it comes standard with a 350 megabyte hard drive, expandable to 720 megabytes. So you've got plenty of room to store all your programs. In addition, the eight megabyte configuration comes standard with an internal fax modem. And for you four megabyte configuration folks, an easy snap-in fax modem option is available as well. You've got PCMCAA technology and screens, another NEC trademark. Try a 10.4 inch DSTN screen or, in a smaller version, a true TFT active matrix screen at a little over nine inches. Now, options galore, and that's one of the great things about the Versa 2000. In addition to having all these wonderful different configuration options, you got a lithium-ion battery that gives you up to five hours of battery life. Five full hours, which is great for those transcontinental flights. But folks, believe it or not, all this starts at under $2,000. That's what I mean about the key point being the fact that this was a value line designed from the ground up. It was designed to come in at under $2,000, now being a stripped down version. In addition, you get NEC's 24 hour a day, seven day a week customer service, which is truly world class. 
some pre-installed communication software at no extra charge, and expandability. There's even an optional docking station that goes with the 2000 line, so as your needs grow, your system can grow with you. So if you're looking for it all, if you're looking for a value price system that has the latest in cutting edge technology, beautiful brilliant screens, sleek state of the art ergonomics, and you want it all starting under $2,000, check out the Versa 2000 series from NEC. You know, with over 2 million users, LapLink is the number one file transfer tool available in the entire world. No surprise. And with its new remote control feature, anybody can use LapLink. If you've got two or more computers, you've got to have this product. I don't care if you're a telecommuter, if you're a business traveler, or if you're a tech support professional, you really need the power of LapLink. And now that it's Windows 95 compatible, you've got all the tools you need for today and for the future. Well, let's go up to Traveling Software and check it out. Well, more and more we find that business travelers are carrying notebook computers with them, and so when they leave the office, they take their office with them. What we'd like to see is with products like LapLink for Windows, they use it to connect back to their office so that they can stay in touch with all the data as if they were back there themselves. We've talked to a lot of companies who have both formal and informal telecommuting programs. Formal ones are great, but you know, a lot of people are what we call guerrilla telecommuters. Um, they just know that that time at home, uninterrupted, is so much more productive for them. But part of the problem is you can't always bring everything with you for your telecommuting days. Sometimes you just forget things and, and there's important data back at the office that you need. So you need to be able to retrieve that data anytime you need it during the day. Let's say that you're about ready to go on a business trip and uh, you're ready to make a mad dash out of the office to go catch your local flight. Uh, the problem is you don't want to take the time to transfer a five megabyte ACT database, for example, from your uh, PC in the office to your notebook computer. Well, you don't have to do that if you use LapLink for Windows, because when you get to your destination, all you have to do is dial into your office PC and take over that machine as if you were actually running back in the office. I think that linking technologies have gotten easier, and LapLink is sure a part of that. Um, we've always focused on ease of use, we've always focused on reliability, and that's been a big obstacle to people. They've tried to use these kinds of products before, they try to make them connect. If they can get connected, quite often the connection drops before they're finished. So being able to get the connection the first time with just a simple click of the button and having that connection reliable for the length of time that you need to be online is real important, and that really has contributed substantially to people being able to work any place, any time. SpeedSync technology is a technology that we developed that allows only the changed parts of a file to be transferred from one machine to another. For example, let's say that you're on the road and you have a large database back at the office and you've only updated a couple of records. Well, rather than transferring the entire database back, taking you a long time, it allows you to only transfer those records that changed. Now, not only does this save you a lot of time, but if you're connecting over long distance lines, it also can save you a great deal of money. If this is your first experience with a remote control type product, our users tell us that from the time they begin to install LapLink for Windows until the time they make their first successful connection is about 15 minutes. LapLink is your missing link to the office, wherever you're working, whether at home or on the road. Another great use for LapLink is tech support. Imagine being able to have your help desk go through the modem or over the network to fix problems on computers in your office or even at a remote site. And Windows 95 compatible? I mean, folks, this is the number one remote access file transfer application of choice. And besides, traveling software is even going to let you try it for free. Fujitsu is a name well known for their quality storage products, and they have raised the bar once again with the new Dynamo 230. Now, folks, this is a magneto optical drive, which means on this small three and a half inch cartridge, you have the ability to store 230 megabytes of information, about 160 times what you get on a traditional floppy disk. Now that's incredible. This is a wonderful tool for those of you using a Macintosh PowerBook or desktop system, or even an IBM compatible notebook or desktop PC. Now if you're a graphics professional, this is a must have. You need room to store those big graphics files. But even portable users can benefit from this. If you're a road warrior, you can take all of your work files with you and save that precious hard drive space. Now they give you everything you need, all the cables, all the drives, everything you need to get started. Again, it's from Fujitsu, the leader in magneto optical drives, and it's called the Dynamo 230. Check it out. Folks, I want to show you a new product called Infopedia, and this is truly the ultimate 
multimedia reference library. Now, if you're in business and you're putting together presentations or reports within your office, or if you have children who need a real robust information source for doing reports at their school or classwork, even homework, you're going to love this new product. It is truly the most comprehensive collection of reference materials that I've ever found anywhere, certainly in a multimedia form. Let's take a look. First of all, you're going to notice you've got over 200,000 different articles. From current events to past history, you've got all kinds of information included in Infopedia. Now, you can locate layers of information easily with Infopedia's unique linking capabilities between the various sources. So you can search information between the various materials that are incorporated that make Infopedia, like Funk and Wagnall's Complete Encyclopedia, all 29 volumes, Roger's 21st Century Thesaurus, Hammond's World Atlas, The World Almanac and Book of Facts, and the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Merriam-Webster Dictionary of English Usage, Dictionary of Quotations, and Webster's New Biographical Dictionary, all included in Infopedia. I mean, this is the most robust collection of information you're going to find anywhere in the world. Now, it's also easy to find your information from within these sources because you can search with a selection of keywords. You can search by category. Even customize your search criteria to get to the information you want and quickly. Now, in addition to the eight different reference works that you find within Infopedia, you're going to find a lot of great eye candy, too. Things like full motion video clips, dazzling 3D animations, thousands of different images and graphics, recordings, even narrations. In addition, there's a wonderful collection of highly detailed maps of the world. When you start using Infopedia, one of the first things you notice is its great single window interface. Now this is a tremendous advantage over other products because you have more access to more information more quickly and more easily. You can simply type in a topic or click in a word listed in the browser and a menu bar indicates in which of the eight reference works you'll find the related topics that you're searching for. Now Infopedia has a special search browser feature which lets you customize the way you search for topics. In fact, you can even record your progress in a special folder for multi-session research projects where other people may be collaborating with you. In a nutshell, Infopedia is the ultimate, and I mean the ultimate, multimedia reference material. If you're looking for maps, flags, music, animations, video clips, graphics, you name it, you've got it all right here. It's called Infopedia, it's from the fine folks at Future Vision, and it's available for both Macintosh and Windows-based PCs. The latest version of Lotus's Smart Suite version 4.0, has been getting a lot of kudos in the trade press as of late, due in large part to the inclusion of WordPro, the first ever team word processor. Now what do I mean by team? Well, I'm talking about team computing, the ability to collaborate with other people on a document. Well, I went to Lotus to visit with Bill Jones to get the straight scoop on WordPro. Lotus Smart Suite 4.0 is a great new product that we're shipping uh, for Lotus business productivity applications for the Windows 3.1 user. Um, it builds on top of the award-winning 123 for Windows product that we have, Freelance Graphics and Lotus Approach, but it adds Lotus Word Pro. Word Pro has a feature called Team Review, which helps you set up a document exploiting the way that you want to share it, via on a network server, via email, Lotus Notes. Um, helping you set up the document for other people to review, such that when they get it, they know exactly what to do, and when you get it back, you can use a feature called Team Consolidate to help you take those, those different edits that people have, bring them together, and consolidate them into a final um, document. No other word processor is going to give you this kind of functionality. I think you can see this is a pretty incredible development. I mean, we all need to empower our teams within our office to work together more efficiently so that they can edit together, so they can collaborate together, so that they can work as a team. Team computing is really imperative. Now, don't think Lotus Word Pro just does team word processing. It's a lot of stuff for the individual also. For example, let's take a feature that a lot of people think is a team feature, versioning. Now, what versioning does in Word Pro is gives you the ability to have multiple cuts of a document, the original draft, the next draft, the draft after I talked to Jim, et cetera all within the same file. You can always go back in time, pick up uh, edits made in one version, and bring them forward. Okay? That's versioning. Now some other things, for example, are like the spell checker. Innovation like spell checker. In WordPro, you click on an icon and boom, all of the misspelled words or words that the spell checker doesn't understand are automatically highlighted. The last piece is if, if you ever get stuck, just ask the expert. Type in a question using your own words what you want to do, and WordPro will answer it for you. For example, how do I turn my page sideways? Boom, you've got your answer. 
Upgrading to Lotus WordPro is really easy. Using WordPro's built-in file format conversions, you can open files of any file type. WordPerfect, Word. In fact, you can write out to those file formats as well. You're going to want to do that because WordPro has built-in internet access as well. Now you can take files, put them out on the World Wide Web for other people to, to use them in any file format, including HTML. That's worldwide team computing, and that's what you get with Lotus Smart Suite 4.0. Well, wherever in the world you're working, as an individual or in a team computing environment, you can really take advantage of the power of the new WordPro and the entire SmartSuite 4.0 collection. Check it out. You know, IBM is well known for their family of PC MCIA cards, and they're leading the way once again with a great new technology, an infrared wireless LAN or local area network card. Now, how does it work? Basically the same principle or same technology, at least close, to that of your TV's remote control. It allows you to hook onto your network, your local area network, without wires or cables. Now this is a pretty exciting new technology. Imagine being able to take your notebook computer, plug in a PCMCIA card with an adapter, and do file sharing, access your server, even print without having to hook into the network via cable or wires. Now think of some of the applications. Imagine you're working in collaboration with a group of people in your office, and you have a meeting at a conference room where you're going to exchange information. There's probably not a bunch of connections laying around for everybody to plug into the network on the cables. But if you're on a wireless or an infrared network, you can easily exchange files, exchange information, collaborate. Now this is changing the way a lot of different businesses do business. Uh, the medical industry, for example. If you go into hospitals today, you'll find people using uh, pin-based computers. And they're using IBM PCMCIA technology to exchange information void of any wires or cables. Imagine getting together to convene to discuss a patient's records and being able to exchange the latest records without hooking into a network. Being able to download that back to the database where all the patient records are stored. This is pretty exciting stuff. Now for those of you who are mobile professionals or road warriors, imagine being on a plane with someone else going to make a presentation and you don't have the latest version of the presentation. Maybe there's some new sales or new information that's come out since you got the latest version. Well, you could sit your two notebook computers together on the trade tables, exchange information back and forth, no wires, no cables, and you both got up-to-date information. No downloading to floppy disks, no having to hook up wires and cables between the notebooks. You've got it, and you've got it on the go. Again, this is from IBM. It's a PCMCA card, works on all notebook computers that have PCMCA technology, which is ThinkPad and all the latest and greatest brands. And it's from IBM, the infrared wireless network card. Have you ever bought a home? Well, if you've ever purchased a house, you know what a taxing proposition it can be, especially the first time around. Well, it's gotten a lot easier thanks to Intel ProShare's personal conferencing family of products. We're going to visit a company called Virtual Realty that actually brings lenders and buyers face-to-face -face using desktop-to-desktop -desktop video conferencing with ProShare. Demystifies the whole process, makes it a lot easier than ever before. Take a look. The realtor introduces the customer to our customer services representative via ProShare in the Realtor's office. And Michael from Virtual Realty is already waiting for us here. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Scott. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine. How are you, Mike? What we're going to do today is to electronically shop for a loan for you. And you'll be able to look at hundreds of loans, and we make sure that the underwriter is going to get the best rate for you. The main thing that we're trying to do here is directly connect the source of money with the borrower and eliminate as much of the middleman and cost associated with this. So what's the price range that you're going to be looking at? About two fifty. dollars Right, $250,000. The ProShare enables you to conduct business face-to-face, -face, which in the real estate and lender services business, which is what our company is focused on, is vital. A lender wants to connect to the borrower and efficiently process that loan and get that loan, get that money working on the credit, which is the borrower, as soon as possible. So this provides a direct connect to that, gets the process rolling, gets the loan closed faster, which is good for the borrower and good for the lender and good for the realtor. All parties win in this scenario. In an amazing way, we've really come full circle to the way the real estate business used to be conducted years ago, utilizing technology. In the old days, you used to walk to your realtor, and he'd take you over to the lender, and he'd introduce you to the appraiser, and he'd introduce you to his friend at the title company, and you all sat around his table, and you closed the deal. And it all happened very nicely. And in this way, ProShare has brought that back to that form of Americana, which is buying and selling your home. All right, this seems to be the uh, loan that's best for, for your needs. Do you agree? Great, Great. yeah. 
Sounds good. Thank you. Kind of exciting. Thank you, Mike. So I'd like to connect you directly to the lender, and they'll be able to take the application um, at that time. That's super. Thanks. ProShare is for real. I took one look at the application, and I realized that it was the greatest thing that could ever happen to this business. That sounds like a, a wild boast, but I've got to tell you, I know this industry. I know what people need in it. This is monumental. It'll change the way business is done. Now, VRI's example is not unique. There are many different types of businesses that are using personal conferencing to gain a competitive advantage. And over the next few months, we're going to take a look at quite a few. Stay tuned. Wasn't that great? Well, now listen, if you want to get more information on anything that I covered on the show today, be it products, new technology, whatever, a couple of things you can do. First of all, look in the Hemispheres magazine. Right there in the seat pocket in front of you, you'll find a full supplement on Bunting's window where you can get additional product information. In addition to that, you can also write to me or call via our 1-800 number, send in a coupon, even punch a bingo card in the back of the magazine. We make it real easy for you. We'll mail you product literature, anything at all you need. In fact, even if you've got a question or a comment, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Mark Bunting for Bunting's Window to the World of Computers and United Airlines in-flight entertainment. I'll see you.